Welcome to our video devotions from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. We're so glad that you're watching these. Our scripture lesson for today comes from the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 17, beginning at verse 11. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers, who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your faith has made you well. Those are the words that Jesus ends our gospel lesson with. Your faith has made you well. Well, that sounds really nice, doesn't it? A man is cleansed from his leprosy. His life, which had been completely and totally chaotic, is now returned back to normal. He's able to go and see his family. He's able to enter his hometown. He's able to go to church again. This plague that had cursed him has been taken care of. And yet, how is he made well? By his faith. Faith is not just something that floats around. It's not something that looks to itself. Faith always has an object outside of yourself. What's this man's faith? His faith is that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is God who has authority over all illnesses, sicknesses, difficulties, poverty, hunger, and everything. God is Lord in Jesus over all the world. This man has that faith. How did he get it? He didn't have it at the beginning of the gospel lesson. He was too consumed with fear over his illness, over leprosy, over maybe dying, over not being able to see his family. These are the things that consumed his being. And then he runs into Jesus, who speaks a word to him, who preaches a sermon into his ears. And when he hears that word, what happens? The Holy Spirit creates faith. We confess this reality in the third article of the Creed in the small catechism. I believe in the Holy Spirit. What does this mean? I believe that I cannot, by my own reason or strength, believe in Jesus Christ my Lord or come to Him. But the Holy Spirit calls me by the gospel, enlightens me with His gifts, and sanctifies and keeps me in the one true faith. In other words, when the word is spoken, the Holy Spirit is at work. Faith is created and we are made Christians, just like this man. And when the word is spoken and we hear it and become Christians, we're saved. Not just from leprosy. Not just from the trials and tribulations of this world. We're saved from everything, from death. We're saved and given eternal life. In a world without sin, a place of peace and comfort and joy, we inherit 
God's eternal kingdom. Isaiah says it's the place with the finest foods and the best wines. The book of Revelation pictures the streets lined with gold. The river of life, the tree of life, the glory of God surrounding the entire place, the very presence of God, seeing him face to face without fear. Your faith has saved you because it looks to Jesus to give these things to you here and now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, amen. We pray now the litany, Lutheran service book, page 288. Page 288. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. God the Father in heaven, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy. mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare, Spare us, good, good Lord. Lord. Be gracious to us. Help, Help us, us, good, good Lord, Lord, from all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death, Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver Lord. us by the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, Help, Help us, us, good Lord, Lord, in all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment. Help us, good, good Lord. Lord. We poor sinners implore you to, to hear us, us O Lord, Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage, and to have mercy on us all. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to forgive our enemies, persecutors and slanderers and to turn their hearts to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth and graciously to hear our prayers we implore you to hear us good lord lord jesus christ son of god we implore you to hear us christ the lamb of god 
who takes away the sin of the world. Have, Have mercy. mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Have, Have mercy. mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Grant, Grant us, us your, your peace. peace. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives, that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.